Hello, YouTube. I believe I just uh, broke my back going out looking for more bullshit, and maybe it was a bad idea. 14,570 steps to the Walmart on Valley. From my house, that's oh, just about four miles of a walk. But, uh, yeah. I guess we'll go ahead and crack these open, and that's going to be it for the rest of the pay week until next week. Then I think I'm going to cut back on cards again and start saving most of my money, my paychecks. Again, I really have to get this money situated. But uh, anyway, before I get started, you remember the Toss Triple Threads Maroni. I just realized something. That wasn't the only... I mean, you guys are you guys will probably point it out on the video. Because, like uh, I'm going to say right now, that's those videos, the score videos are going to hit before these boxes hit. So, yeah, we'll move that out of the way. And I just realized we pulled another Patriot. And uh, I realized that he was a Patriot because I was looking at the Patriots page the other day. And they were showing the first pictures of him in the Patriots uniform. Sonny Michel. I'm not sure if that's how he says it, but I've always known that to be Michel. Or Michel. But yeah, he's a Patriot. 31 overall, first round. But I mean, I, lo I love these, these cards. Just because of the fact that it's a college jersey and it's not a pro jersey. And you know, we're not going to see very many college jerseys. We're going to see mass production of pro jerseys. If, well, he's in the NFL, but yeah, that's pretty sweet, though. I just realized it, so yeah, we get a Patriots hit. I love the Patriots. You guys know I'm a Patriots fan. But uh, anyways, let's get down to this. Let me set this down real quick. of the cards, you know, I mean, yeah. there's a little hole right there, so it's going to be some kind of relic, not a fake hit. Anyways, let's, let's bore you guys with some of the packs, you know. For those of you jerks who don't like to watch the entire video, prepare to skip through to the end. Tony Nice, uh, Jim Ross, Grand Metallic, Kurt Hawkins, please just, please let him win. I hate that crap, you know, those losing streak crap. Let him win. He's, I don't know why he's, he's not getting more exposure to winning matches when you got pieces of garbage like Big Cass. You got Enzo. Who else should I throw out there? Guys like that anyways. They're, they're worthless. Mojo Raleigh, worthless. Why are you guys have these worthless idiots winning matches? Come on, Kirk deserves it. Or at least put him back in the tag team with Zack Ryder and let them go out there tag team titles. Most dependable. See, that's why I get Braun Strowman is an idiot because the only thing we've always known about Kurt Hawkins is he's a reliable freaking tag team. Uh, how do you call it? Tag team partner. He's always been the great tag team partner. Why? Don't let him lose any more matches. That's embarrassing. He deserves to win something. Christy St. Cloud. I mean, come on. And that's a bronze. Come on. Kurt Hawkins did not come back to the WWE so he could be a jobber. That's not cool. I think I have both of these. There's a John Cena 2017 Evolution and a Daniel Bryan 2014 Evolution. I might be wrong. I don't have the relics, but I do have the stuff, all the inserts that we got the last time. Asuka, like I say, that's not a rookie card of Asuka. She's had plenty of rookie cards already. So Ripple, they didn't say that's a rookie card for Aiken. Kofi, Champa, Shane McMahon, who needs to just go away. Uh, I think these are new. I don't recall seeing these. There's a 1999 Evolution Big Show when uh, he was barely coming to WWE and a Mick Foley 2017 when he was the GM <clears throat> cool 
So I don't, I know I don't have those. I know for a fact I have never seen those. Neville, good boy, don't ever fucking come back. I don't hate Neville, but if I understand that he doesn't want to be more than a freaking cruiserweight, don't ever come back. Don't let WWE sucker you into coming back and filling out another freaking thing, another fucking contract, just to keep you barred from going elsewhere and making a name for yourself. Make them regret they ever, they ever screwed you over. The Miz, Maria Kanellis, yeah. Who cares? Sin Cara. Actually, he's a cool dude. The cool thing about this guy is when he ever when he comes to town, he goes, he will not leave until he goes around and shakes everybody's hands and thanks them for for showing up. So some people may not like him, but mad respect to Sin Cara for actually giving a shit about the fans. By the way, this Sin Cara is actually Unico. A lot of people don't know that. The real, the other thing, the real, oh, first thing, Cara, he's back in Mexico as Mestices. Or, uh, other, no, otherwise known as Mystico. Pro oh, Dallas, bronze. I want to see him come back as the inspirational Bo Dallas. Or maybe tag team with this brother, Bray Wyatt. He, they, they, they would pretty, do a pretty good tag team, I believe. There's a 2013 Evolution Corporate Kane and Jerry the King Lawler 2017 Evolution. I don't think Lawler's really ever evolved. He's been the same piece of crap he's always been. Next pack. Bill Regal. Always respected. That's a good man right there. Uh, I wish they would do better with him. He deserves a lot better. For fuck's sakes. He evolved... The Ultimate Warriors Gorilla Press Slam and Big Splash combination with a freaking Gorilla Press Slam turning into a freaking uh, moonsault, standing moonsault. And all he is is a jobber. Come on. Bobby Fish. Drew Gulak. I, got, I didn't like him at first, but I really think he's going to turn out to be something. I like submission style wrestlers and he's one of those. Oh yeah, this is when they he sold out to go and freaking go to WCW just to freaking lose to Hogan because Hogan had never beaten him. The Ultimate Warrior joins WCW to take on the NWO. His only prime objective was to lose to freaking uh, Hogan, and that's it. The Rock 2016 Evolution and King Booker. I can't say King Booker; it's King Booker. 2006. I'm not sure about those ones. I'll have to check them. We'll check them after I cut the video. Man, I'm gonna be hurting tomorrow. Long ass walk. I don't care what anybody says. He's my boy. I like Ginger. Mark my words. He's not. He's not finished as WWE champion. He's far from finished there. He's gonna be a contender for a long time. No way in hell you take him, make him a masterpiece, and turn him back into a freaking jobber. I don't care what anybody says. Ginger is awesome. Go away, you're a has-been, you have a kid at home, get the hell out of here and go take care of your kid, freaking bum. Hey, there's always mad respect for freaking Nigel McGinnis. Wish he wouldn't have contacted the hepatitis virus, because he was a, he, 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 he an yeah, awesome wrestler, cut short because of that. Awesome wrestler. Roddy Strong, uh, I think he came to the WWE too late. Hey, Bronze AJ. Hey, yeah, there's one right there that I don't remember seeing. And I guess that would be a new one, too. We got the Cactus Jack, 1991, and 2017 Chris Jericho. Cool. That means they got to have a dude love. TJP never was sold on TJP. I always thought he wasn't. I didn't. I never thought he was all that great. Michael Cole, who cares? Kurt. Kurt. Uh, Caleb Braxton. Don't know who the hell that is. Hideo Tommy. If uh, you cut Hideo and Tommy in half, you would get CM Punk and Daniel Bryan. Why? 
because they stole his entire moveset. The running knee that Daniel Bryan does, the running flying knee, that's his move. The GTS that Dan that uh, CM Punk did, him. Goldust 1995 Undertaker 2017. See, that's the Goldust I remember. A lot of people don't know that was a homosexual gimmick. A lot of people don't know that. And if you look at it, I don't know how many of you people watched uh, Hokuto no Ken or Face of the North Star, but if you notice it, I don't know how a lot of, if a lot of people don't notice, he looks a lot like Judah, or Yuda. And Yuda, you know, uh, he's that type of character too, just like Goldust. I wonder if that's where they got the idea for Goldust from, is from Yuda, from uh, Hokuto no Ken. <coughs> I don't know. It just seems so freaking similar. Except Yuta wasn't uh, gold. Chad Gable. Please give me other... other. I mean, I like this outfit, Honor. But please give me a different photo. I think that's a that's the same photo they used last year, too, for Aleister Black. Byron Saxton. Uh, Bronze of Mike Rome. Don't even know who the hell that is. I don't pay attention to the announcer, so I don't know why the hell they put their cards in this stuff. Nobody wants that garbage. Hey, we got a different look, Goldust, uh, 2017. Oh, okay, that's the last one. Oh, yeah, that's cool. 1995 Evolution, The Giant. Pretty cool. Kathy Kelly, Heath Slater, Johnny Gargano. I don't know about you guys, but it kind of seems like they're trying to turn him into CM Punk or Austin Aries. I mean, he has their look. 100 freaking percent. But he doesn't have their moveset. Decent wrestler, I just don't know if he's going to go anywhere. Hey, Mean Gene. No Amdar. Kurt Angle 2017, the game Triple H 2000. I don't think I have either of those. Uh, the Croc, Tamina. Undertaker, Lana, Percy Watson. He was a, he used to, he was a wrestler one time on NXT. Don't know why he stopped, but he used to wear like he used to wear those Bubba and I mean the Diva, the Dudley style glasses where they don't have the lenses on them. Yeah, I don't I don't know if anybody remembers that. Randy Orton 2017 and Mark Henry 2017. The only Mark Henry that was worth the shit, the Hall of Pain Mark Henry when he freaking dominated uh Randy Orton. I mean Randy Orton flat out got his ass kicked by him. Butterball. I wish they would stop fucking around. This guy is great. Gentleman Jack Gallagher. This guy is great. I don't know why the hell they keep screwing him around. He deserves better. Uh, why do they keep putting hoes in my cards? Although, if I have to say it, I prefer her over Nikki. At least she has, so she's going to have a lot of things that Nikki will never have. A kid. A uh, relationship that's actually worth the shit. A loving husband. A great man. Something that, yeah, she, that they'll never have. She'll, uh, Nikki will never have. Hey, sweet Bobby Roode rookie card. I don't think he's had any rookie cards yet, unless it's uh, NXT. Yeah, he has NXT cards, but they didn't say rookie on him. But Bobby Roode. I think he also came a little too late to the WWE. He's pushing 40. I think he's like 36 or 37 now. Well, AJ Styles came a little late. He was already 40. And he's a, what, three-time WWE Champion now? Here's another one of the Ultimate Warrior. Wins the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 6. Oh, yeah. Uh, versus Hogan. Yeah, that's, to me, that's still the greatest freaking match in WWE history. I don't care about anything else. I'm a, I'm an old school guy. WrestleMania 6, Warrior versus 
Hogan. Could you think of a bigger power struggle than that? Massive freaking egos exploding in the middle of the ring. 1997 Kane Evolution, Chris Jericho 1996 Evolution. I don't think I have those either. And the moment of truth. Damn it, don't want to come out. Uh, Shawn Michaels defeats Psycho Sid for the WWE Championship. Cool, I guess. I don't have that one. I know that. Uh, it's Aleister Black. That's not bad. Too bad it's a freaking Matt Relic. A bronze Matt Relic, NXT Matt Relic of Aleister Black. 113 out of 199. Sucks that this product is going to be overloaded with Matt Relics and uh, the garbage championship plates. Nobody wants the, that garbage. I wish they would. I'm starting to wish that they would get rid of this crap. And the worst part is, like I said, all the all the shirt relics are numbered to 99 this year or less. That's bad. That's really, really bad. Anyways, thanks for watching. We gotta get to that other box. Then I still have to do my freaking hours. Oh well. Catch you guys later.